class, let us all stand and pray. Close your eyes and ask for guidance for our activities today and thank God for this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Before we will start, can we pick up all the trashes and throw it inside the trash cans? Everybody stand and let's have an energizer to warm up your mind and body. Is anybody absent today? Okay, before we proceed to our formal discussion, I will give you an activity first. Let's play charades class. So here's the mechanics. The class will be divided into two groups, the girls and the boys. So each group will choose one representative to act without using his or her mouth, nor uttering the list of the words that I'll be giving. So the remaining members of each group will guess the words being acted or portrayed by your representatives. So the group that can be able to guess correctly, like each words being portrayed by their representative, will garner points. And the group that will be gathered the greater number of points will be the winner. So the words will be acted or portrayed will are, I mean, view, review, prepared, unprepared, honest, dishonest, conscious, unhappy, unlike, unconscious, and happy. Class, do you find the activity difficult? What have you noticed with the words, class? In pairs, okay, so let's identify the words in pairs. What are they? Okay, honest, dishonest, unconscious, and etc. Since there are like is the meaning of honest the same with the meaning of dishonest? No, okay. So what makes them differ from one another then? Okay, very good class. Thus, in other words, we'll be discussing about affixes with a focus on prefixes. So what is a root word class? Okay, so a root word is a word from which many words are derived. For example, the kind is a root word from which is kindly, kindness, and unkind are derived. Excellent! So how about prefix? Yes! Prefix is a syllable or syllables placed before a word or a word root to alter its meaning or create a new word. For example, return. Return is composed of prefix re plus the word torn. So meaning, return means to turn back or to go back. Okay, we have here using the prefixes. So there are prefixes that only have one meaning and others with more than one meaning. So let's have prefixes with only one meaning. Ben means good. Circum means around, equi means equal, non means not, entra means within, extra means outside, intro means into. So the prefixes with more than one meaning. So we have here this means opposite or away from, like for example the this, this anis, like it's opposite from the anis. Then second, im, in, it, il means not or into. So im, impolite, so meaning not polite, like that. Number three, mal and miss means bad or wrong, like malfunction means it's not a function well, like a bad function. Miss means miscommunication. Like, it is a wrong communication or having a bad communication. So, four means, uh, four, me, three means before or instead of, re means back or again, and sub means under or below, and means opposite of, or it could be not, like unprepared. So, he or she not prepared okay 
Oh, so class will be having a group activity again. So here's the mechanic. So the class will be grouped according to their intelligence or skill. So each group must present their assigned task. And 10 minutes is the allotted time for the group preparation, which including checking of the names of the group, members will be provided the papers. So after the allotted time, each group must submit the provided papers and presentation will follow. So before the presentation, the group must give introduction of what they are going to do in front of the class. So I'll be giving a feedback right after the presentation of the whole group. So the group according to their intelligence or skills. So we have here the verbal linguistic group. They will uh, summarize and discuss the importance of using prefixes to efficiently de deconstruct a word based on the knowledge of the prefix. And then second, we have the visual artists. So they will create a slogan or poster using the common types of prefixes. And then the singers and the dancers. So they will perform a two to three minute song. Could be rap, chant, or jingle using prefixes. So lastly, we have the intrapersonal group. So they will write the journal or reflection for today's lessons. So we have here the criteria. So content and clear organization, 30 points. Creativity or resourcefulness, 25 points. Cooperation and teamwork, 15 points. Relevance of the presentation, 30 points, a total of 100 points. Okay, very good class. So I have here your assignment. Please copy your assignment class. Worry to the place. Nice question. So class, answer the one on short bun paper and make sure that you pass it neat and creative. Am I understood? Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye and thank you class.